Hey Aries, hope you guys are all doing really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for July 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Aries. It is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And please keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in this reading because it's general. All right, Aries, let's see what is going on with you in July 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Oh, okay. So, for the situation, we have the Four of Swords crossed by the Fool. All right, okay, so it seems like somebody is being very, very passive in this situation. Somebody is just... Um, not taking much action and the challenge for them is actually to take some kind of action to take some kind of risk i do get that there is some healing that is happening beneath the surface and beneath this passiveness but i feel like this person whether it is you or them is really being called to take a risk to take some kind of action and it does seem like whoever this is they're not they're not taking this action because they possibly have a fear of the unknown or it just feels like taking this action would be too impulsive or too risky. Let's see what's going on in your energy. We have the Empress, the Knight of Swords, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so... Hmm... You're coming from a place of really having worked on yourself. So there's, it's like you have been very either productive or creative or just really in tune with your own self. But at the same time, I feel like there's a little bit of restlessness and it's like you're moving towards, it's like you want to have a plan or there's something that you want to do, but it does feel like there's a bit of procrastination or holding back on your end here. Let's see what's going on with the other person. The Six of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this person is really being challenged at the moment in in terms of their ego or in terms of how they want to be seen either by you or by others and it almost comes in as them having this false this false um, image or this false idea of either how you see them or how they are perceived by others one sec I forgot to put my phone on silent okay Let's see the potential outcome here. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so this does talk about action. So I feel like whoever it is that's being challenged here to take some kind of action and to move out of this passiveness, that's actually um, manifesting here, coming up. So let's clarify and get more details. So let's see this. Four of Swords with the Fool. What exactly is going on here? All right, Judgment, the Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so whoever this is, they definitely want to move towards love. The, the love is definitely here. They're feeling a lot of emotions. Again, I'm not sure if this is you or them. It could even be the both of you. Um, they're very aware of this, and they're very aware of the fact that there's this calling or this um, desire from within to take that action. They're feeling like it's a little bit too much for them at the moment to handle, though. Like I feel like this person, whether it's you or them, it's like... They're trying to juggle with a lot of things simultaneously. And because of that, it makes it a little bit more difficult for them to actually take on another um, task here, especially when this task feels so risky. Let's see what's going on with you. Let's see this Empress. King of Swords and the Seven of Wands. All 
I feel like you just made this decision um, to be very logical, to be very rational, and to just really hold your ground, especially in terms of respect and set setting boundaries. And it feels like there's a lot of determinism behind that. And that's why you, you became so either productive or creative or just really standing your ground, really finding your inner power and feeling empowered. Um, um, I don't want to say that this was just a phase. I do feel like there was a lot of work um, that was productive here that was being done and good for you for really being determined to um, take a stand and protect your own self and empower your own self. It just feels like there's a little bit of restlessness at the same time behind all of this or just um, kind of like going back to questioning something about this situation. Let's see, Knight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's kind of like there's this, it's like, you know, you were in this place where, yeah, you know, like everything's good, I'm fine, um, I set my boundaries, I'm blocking this out, I don't even, you know, want this anymore. But here there's this tendency to kind of be like, wait, am I, am I sure? Do I kind of want something here? It, it feels like there's some kind of restlessness or wanting, possibly wanting to communicate something more to this person. Kind of like something just coming back up that you're like, oh, you know, well, this was left hanging. Like, like I, there's something that I want to say or do, possibly. And so that's what's leaving you kind of like in this dilemma, like not really knowing whether you should go for it or not. Let's see, two of wands. The ace of swords and the hierophant. So again, keeping in mind that the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you're cross-watching or watching for yourself. Um, if you are watching for yourself and if this top row is resonating with you and your energy, I'm getting that the message here for you is to go for it. You know, if you feel like there's something you want to say, um, as long as it's coming from an authentic place and without um, judgment or without resentment, then the message is to go for it. Okay, but again, you know, always follow your own intuition. It really depends on your situation, but that's the message that I'm getting here. Um, and I actually do see you doing that. <laughs> I think Mannix agrees. Yeah, you're gonna sit? Okay. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the other person here. Let's see the Six of Wands. Ooh, the Knight of Swords for them as well, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so two knights, um, and they're pretty contradictory because one is very, very fast and the other one is very, very slow. So I feel like this person, again, it's like they have, they have a misconception of how they are being viewed, and I feel like this part of their ego is kind of blocking them. It's kind of getting in the way here. It's, it's almost like on the one hand, there's this action that they want to take, but because they're afraid of the impulsivity of that or of how that might make them look, they're trying to pace themselves. They're trying to slow down. But again, this is coming from a place of, of ego. Either that or because they just want to have the upper hand in one way or another. And they're afraid that if they take this risk or, you know, take some impulsive action, that maybe it'll be something that they regret and that it will hurt their ego in some way. So because of that, they're trying to, like, slow themselves down. Let's see the Seven of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something here that they're not seeing very clearly. Um, it feels like this person is... It's like because of the, these misconceptions that they have, they end up feeling lonely. They end up feeling alone. Um, for some of them, this might not be for all of them, but for some of them, it's like they have this tendency to feel like, yeah, you know, I want to be independent. I want to be alone. Or I want to be single. 
or I just don't want to be attached to anything. But again, it's like that's more of like a cover up from their ego based on based on an illusion of what they think they want their identity to be. But ultimately, that nine of pentacles, that in independence um, to that extreme, to that extent, is creating a sense of loss. It's creating a sense of loneliness. And sadness also for some of them. So for some of them, this could even be that, that they are missing you if you are not in contact. So just to be clear, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being independent. Of course, we should all be independent. I feel like what's going on though with this person is that they have a fear of dependency. And yes, dependency is not a good thing, but you, there's no reason to fear it if we already are independent. So I feel like that's something that they are learning here. All right, let's see the nine of wands. Or at least if it's not a fear of um, dependency, it's like a fear of attachment to you specifically. It might not even be in general. It might be to you specifically for whatever reason. Let's see the nine of wands. Temperance and the two of swords. So they're working through this. They're working through this. Um, again, it feels like they're trying to slow themselves down. They're trying to take their time with this because there's this fear of acting too fast. There is movement. It's not easy. And especially having this Ace of Wands here at the end, I mean, that does talk about a reconnection. Um, some of you might be dealing with, let me just see the signs that are showing up here. We have Taurus, we have Sagittarius. Those are the ones that are speaking out to me the most, as well as Aries. So you might be dealing with another Aries for some of you as well. Of course, it could be any sign. All right, let's see, um, let's see this Ace of Wands. The Queen of Swords, the Lovers, all right, so Gemini also showing up here, and the Four of Swords again, right, which was our very first card out. And it's also the last card out. Okay, but this time it's attached to this Ace of Wands, right, as the major energy. So there is some action that is being taken here. There is some kind of reigniting or finding that motivation to move towards, to move towards love, to move towards this connection. And I feel like it's because there are that Seven of Cups, right, which was creating a lot of illusions, those... Um, you know, misconceptions that I was talking about, I feel like those are clearing up. Those are clearing up because this person is beginning to see that they want this, this lover's energy, right? That they want this connection in their lives. Um, there is some, it is still taking a little bit of time. Um, I feel like there is a lot of healing that is happening, but it is happening, all right? We're clarifying the Ace of Wands here, and that's a very, very powerful card. It talks about a new beginning, reigniting something, passion, as well as action. So yeah, um, I feel like, yeah, things are taking a little bit of time. This person especially has some things to work through, but they are getting there. All right, so if this resonated, Aries, please don't forget to give me a like and let's get a final oracle card for you. And we have devotion. Okay, to me, this card is very similar to that Ace of Wands. So I do feel like there is devotion between you and this person. This person does feel this energy towards you. It's just a matter of time um, before they work through these illusions that they have and through their ego in order to do something about it. All right, Aries, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.